Welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello my name is Megan and today we are going to set up my weekly spending tracker for October um, we are in week one it started on Tuesday um, September 29th and it has gone until October 5th so I'm just gonna write that in quick so I don't forget um, so 29th to 5th this is a calendar from printacalendar.com it's awesome to use as your bill tracker and your income tracker. It just gives you a visual of the month at one time. This is my budget sheet. It's from my Etsy shop. It's called Budget Queen Shop, so go check it out if you're interested. It's my weekly spending tracker and it is a lifesaver when it comes to budgeting. So next we're going to write in our monthly budget. So that is just a little overview of um, what your target goals are and trying not to go over, that kind of thing. So we'll just go through it. I'll talk you through it as well. So you just write in all your categories that you have down here for all your expenses. This could be different for you for, um, say, if you have pets or any just other category that you want to have um, a category for. So I have groceries, gas, eating out, my husband's spending, my spending, kids, household, and other my other category is like a miscellaneous category so I'll just put that there um, and then this is other things such as birthdays and trips and stuff so I should actually name this miscellaneous and have this as other so I hope that just doesn't confuse you guys it just makes sense in my head so that's why I keep it like that so I live in British Columbia Canada and groceries here are very expensive especially if you're eating on a healthy diet so I have tried to cut back from a $1,200 monthly grocery budget to $800, so $200 a week. Um, it is definitely a challenge, but we are trying our best because um, it sounds ridiculous to have such a high budget here, but that's what we have. Um, anyways, gas $100, um, eating out $50. I've tamed this budget back a little since last month just because I don't want to overspend. Like I don't want to allow us to have all this money and then spend it all. If I can cut back our spending and go under budget, that'd be awesome. So $20 for each, my husband and I, and then the kids $100. I still have to buy diapers, wipes, and formula, so I still need a big budget for the kids. $20 for household and then $50 for miscellaneous. And then I'm just gonna write my categories again. Um, this just takes a second, it might look um, tedious, but it is not. Um, I know that some people have different categories each week, so I just made sure it was um, doable for everybody. Kids, household, and other. And I missed when I did my October budget to write in bank fees, so I wrote them there. Sorry, it slipped my mind. I didn't have to pay them last month because of timing. I just forgot to write them down. So bank fees are now in my October budget, just so you guys know. Anyways, let's flip to our daily spending tracker and we'll get right on with the video. All right, my writing is pretty small, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind. Also, don't look at my janky nails. <laughs> I'm I'm a stressed out person and I bite my nails when I'm stressed out, so they're disgusting. Anyways, let's go and look at our week one. So this is week one. All these transactions here where the line is that stops and that's um, my beginning of week two. So week two, we're looking at the category expenses and then um, the description is one of these eight categories. So if you see such as this other and car maintenance, that is for our bigger section in our budget over here. So um, yeah, that is not the same other, just so you guys know. Hopefully it's not too confusing for you guys. Anyways, so let's go through our groceries. So um, at the beginning of the week, we spent 181.19 stocking up. And then the next day we needed a couple of things that we forgot about. Um, so that was a little stock up. So we ended up spending 205.21. 
So really good, we're on top of our $200 a week. I mean, it's just over by a jug of milk, but that's okay. I'm gonna do all the spend and then I'll do the category balance after. So for gas, we didn't spend anything, which is awesome, we're doing really good on gas, so that's perfect. Eating out, however, was um, our struggle this week. So as you can see, I spent $5.16 there, and then I spent $50.18. And then I spent $2.71. So the eating out, $5.16, my husband got a, a few um, ice caps from Tim Hortons, so that's um, pretty expensive for two drinks. And then eating out, my sister-in-law was moving away, as I kind of briefly told you guys about. She is a new single mom with my niece um, by her side, and she was leaving Saturday um, that just passed, and so... When we were over helping pack at my um, in-laws house i wanted to treat them to a a nice dinner out i know my in-laws had to pay for quite a few things for her um, just helping her out so i just wanted to give them a stress-free night and treat them to dairy queen if you don't know my personality already i would give anything off my back to anybody so a dinner this was just dairy queen too it was five meals so that was a really good price for five meals and um, I hope you guys understand my reasoning for spending that money it just means the world to me that you know I was able to treat everybody and they didn't even have to think about dinner and it was a nice relaxing night all together while we were packing up my sister-in-law's things and she lives like now three hours away so it was super sad I don't get to see my niece as much and I <laughs> I was devastated that night so Emotional spending at its best, but I don't regret a single bit of it. So $58.05 is what I spend this week on eating out. Um, I know we're over for the month, but at the end of the month, we're going on a big trip. Um, I'll actually show you guys that quick here. So I'm going to go see my parents. They live 12 hours away from me. Um, so we're going to take a big trip here. And don't worry, my husband has lots of holiday pay money, so we're going to be covered for this this week that we're gone. So a quarter of our budget is going to be um, on this trip expense um, for money that I've taken out already. So um, I know that we're not gonna eat out as much moving forward, so that is that. And then for my husband's spending, he got invited to a guy's poker night. Um, so he doesn't drink, so he bought some non-alcoholic beer and some treats for himself for poker night and then that was also um this money was buying in it was five dollar buy-in and he bought in three times so that was his spending that was his choice and he loved that night with his best guy friends um he told them about the the wedding and how they're all invited to so they're all so excited for him and us to get married so that was really fun for him to do Anyways, for my spending, I didn't spend anything, so zero. And then for kids, we spent $24.42. I think that was just on a can of formula or something like that. With kids, you just always forget what you spend your money on. And then for household, we had to get laundry detergent and then some dish detergent. And you know how household stuff adds up as well. It's just like the enemy. <laughs> And then we didn't spend anything in our other category, which is a miscellaneous category, um, the little things that pop up. So total, we spent $381.57. Again, we're on the high side. We like to spend around $250 to $300 a week. That's just normal spending. Oh, I totally forgot to write my total, $1,160. Sorry that I forgot to write that in, but that's the total there. Okay, so how you get your category balance is you take your um, monthly budget and then subtract what you spent this week, and then that gives you the category balance moving forward into your next week. So it just is a glimpse of how much money you have left over to spend so you don't go over budget. So for 800 for groceries, you subtract 205.21. We still have 594. 79 and then for gas since we didn't spend anything we still have the full 100 for eating out we had a $50 budget I was really tight on that budget but I know that um, we were over by $8.05 my husband's spending I 
went from 50 to 20, so we are definitely over in that category already. 37, 28. My husband rarely spends his allowance, so um, I'm surprised. I would be surprised if he went over with that. And then for myself, I didn't spend anything, so I still have 20. The kids, we have a $100 budget. We spent 24, 42, so we still have 75, 58. And then for household, I didn't think we would need um, all that detergent and whatnot, but we did. So I only gave us a $20 budget for household. That was my bad because I obviously didn't check what we needed before I made that budget. So we're over by $16.61. And then we didn't spend anything in others, so we still have $50, which is good. So now we add and subtract all of our um, categories and we get 7 78 43 remaining for week two so this is a really good way of knowing where your money is going and how much money you have moving forward the way i know that i have this correct number is i take this number i add this spent number and then that gives me my total monthly budget so if you add these two numbers together and they're not that number then you know something's off I made sure to go back in my week one and add up all the um, expenses to make sure it was the same as this. So I'm just double checking my work because in the last couple weeks I've been really bad at missing a little couple things. So that is that. Anyways, I'll just talk through um, a little bit of our other transactions. So I got paid my thousand dollars from the CERB money, that is the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, it ended and I actually got my last payment um, here, it was today, I got $500 for one week, so that was nice. Anyways, so I got income from Etsy, I took taxes out, I paid for my son's preschool, my iTunes came out, I paid $300 towards my US credit card. Jeep came out, my husband made 21, over $2,100, which is awesome. Um, we put $500 to rent, electrical 181, Wi-Fi 8580, bank fees came out, and we had uh, car maintenance come up because my husband needed a piece for um, changing the wheel bearings out of his car. And then coming into this week, I'll just talk about it really quick, um, I did get paid $500 and we did go grocery shopping and stuff, but then we put $900 towards the trip. That's kind of what I wanted to highlight from, from all this extra work that my husband did and the income. We took that $900 for our trip, so we are perfect for our trip. Um, I'll just speak a little bit about our trip for a second. Um, so we saved that $900 leading up to the date that we're leaving. We're either, either leaving the 23rd or the 24th, depending on what um, shift my husband and us on. And then coming back, we are leaving on the 1st or the 2nd of November. Again, it depends if my husband gets that second week off, but my November budget starts on the 30th. So coming home, um, that budget will be covered by the November budget. The $900 is just to cover our way there. Again, it's 12 hours away. It's our spending throughout the week. And then on our way home, it's covered by the November budget, but I'll go over that as well. So. That's just a little update of where we are sitting right now. Week one went really good as far as groceries and stuff goes, so I'm very happy. We got all of our bills paid. As you can see, I scratched out all the bills that I paid. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys on Thursday for the next video. Bye. If you're walking, if you're walking, if you're walking.